Now I'm going to show you how to use send keys and also how to use looping. That combination will allow us to do a scroll command because we'll use a keyboard emulation of the arrow keys on your keyboard and we'll loop them. This is great if you have um, a bunch of albums and you want to scroll through them. You don't want to have to keep saying down, down, down. You can say scroll down and then tell it to stop. So let me start just by showing you some simple keyboard emulation. Make a new group, make a command, let's call it send keys demo one. And we'll use uh, this phrase. And when we say type something, we'll have it we'll have it type out this is a test. So it'll send send keys, it'll emulate as though you had typed this on your keyboard and send it to whatever program has focus. And I'll just use notepad. Type something. Type something. Now, this is a quick way if you want to be able to throw in some uh, the ability to do dictation in any program. Instead, what we can do is we can use a um, payload dictation. Payload dictation allows us to say anything in whatever language is installed for Windows speech recognition. So in my case, it's English. Uh, I'll be able to say type and then say a sentence and it'll type it for me. And instead of sending this as a test, we'll tell it to use payload one. Type, I am feeling fine. Type, how are you today? And you can see here how the alternates work as well. Um, with payload dictation, there's a lot, you know, it's, it's often not 100% sure about what you're saying, so you'll see it's popping up these other options. Let's, let's try this again. Type, how are you today? Option two, type, I'm feeling fine. That time it, it knew what I was saying. Type, four score and seven years ago. Option four. In any case, you can see that this works. So what we're doing is We're triggering with this phrase, and then whatever we dictate is treated as um, payload one, and we're sending payload one to send keys. With send keys, if you just type the word home, if you have the word home here, send keys will type the word home. But if you put it in curly brackets, it will interpret it as the special key home. So you could have it press home and then escape and then delete and then up if for some reason you wanted to do that. Now in our case, we're going to want to send it a direction up, down, left, or right, and it'll, em it'll emulate the arrow keys that way. So we're going to send it our payload, the inner curly brackets one represents our payload one and the outer curly brackets are telling send keys that we're using a special key. And instead of a dictation 
we're going to use a list where we where we provide it with only those options. So I'll be able to say press up or press down, etc. It'll emulate those key presses. So let's save it and restart. Press right, press down, press up, press up, press left. So that works. But instead of doing a simple press command, now we'll add looping to turn it into a scroll command. So I'll change the phrase to scroll. And we'll edit the command, and we'll tell it we want to loop. We'll give it a delay of a quarter of a second, 250 milliseconds. We'll tell it to go a maximum of 30 times, and then bail out of the loop, just in case. Scroll down. Scroll left. Scroll up. Scroll right. Stop. Whoa. And you'll notice that I used the whoa command. Actually, if you issue any command that it recognizes, it'll um, it'll stop whatever loop is running. So I actually just have a, a dummy command here that doesn't do anything. It used to be called stop, but in fact it's called whoa. I didn't want to call it stop anymore because stop is actually a valid command for um, controlling playback. And I think that pretty much shows you everything you need to know in terms of scrolling. I guess uh, I could just demonstrate the by setting this number to uh, three, well, let's make it five. It'll only scroll five times. Scroll right. Scroll left. Scroll left. Scroll down. And uh, I'll also point out that when a command has looping enabled on it, it'll be shown in blue. So that makes it a bit easier when you have a bunch of different commands in a group that it'll highlight the ones that scroll.